Hey, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning November 11th, 2024. These are timeless, though. Doesn't really matter about the date. People get hung up on the date, so I put the date in. Okay, okay. Happy Veterans Day. <laughs> now, I did already put a post up uh, saying that, but thank you all so much for your service. I love you. May you always be protected and blessed. In addition to that, the other thing that I posted this week is that there is a new code up, ANGEL25, for 25% 25 off of a standard reading. You can get that standard reading at angelsouls444.com. If you put the code in and it does not work, then it is done, okay? I have people going ahead and just putting their order in and paying full price and then expecting a price adjustment. If the code isn't working, then it's, it's done. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. So there's that part. If you want a live reading with me, you can email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. I do want to say a little something. Certain countries, it gets weird The the tax laws are changing all the time. And for a small, like a very small business, sometimes it doesn't make sense to take that one transaction from the UK. Now, there are platforms like Patreon that kind of handle the tax part of it for you. So we could try that. Oh, it would be such an experiment. But I'll put that out there. I don't know how that would work. <laughs> but if you are in one of those um, locations around the world, then you wouldn't go through my website. You would email me and we'll try to work something out. Again, I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm open to seeing if you are. This week is going to be about protection. So I have the Archangel Michael deck out here and I say protection because uh people are getting wild people are getting very 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 wild and people who are exceptionally personality disordered let's say <laughs> are really trying it they're because they're losing their power decide to be happy now all right so this says thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness joy and bliss I am now willing to see all of the goodness in my life. I'm guilty of this too. If you're somebody who's very, very sensitive, you're looking around, you see all this stuff going on and you're probably just like, why are people like this? Why are people manipulative? Why are people trying to control one another? Why is everybody trying to diminish others? Why is everyone in such competition? Why is there so much backstory? I can go on and on and on. But this is saying, hey, careful. We just came out of the 1111 energy portal. Which, by the way, if you did want to use that as a topic for one of your reading requests, we're still in it. So you could definitely do that. But this is showing us, because we're in that portal energy, we have to be very, very careful of how we're thinking. Again, I'm just as guilty, if not more guilty, than anybody. Why is my computer freaking out? By the way, did I mention um, Mercury Retrograde's coming up? So that's fun. Hold on. Now I'm nervous. Something's trying to open on my computer. <laughs> Y'all, they're listening to me. <laughs> Whew. Okay, everything's fine, I think. I don't know. Anyway, what the heck were you saying? So deciding to be happy now because the thoughts that you're putting out there, there is a frequency behind it. And especially if you have emotion by, behind that, you're really going to be drawing in some stuff that is not going to serve you or it's just going to make things worse, okay? This is not encouraging, you know, spiritual sidestepping, magical thinking. It's nothing of the sort. It's just looking at it and going... Is it that bad? Can I work around it or can I get through it? Can I just face it? Those sorts of things. Let's see what else we have here. Your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. So when you are feeling a certain kind of way, you're getting a certain kind of frequency off of a person. Yes, our ego can get in there and jump to conclusions based on our experiences, our traumas, all those things. However, if you feel like someone is not going to be a good friend or someone that's not going to be a good love partner or they're a player or something like that. Is that what you want? Is that really what you want? Don't forget that type of energy that gets exchanged in those situations is sacred. It, it is life force. I can't talk today. It is life force energy and therefore it is imperative to preserve that. Yes. So this says, please help me clearly hear, see, feel, and know the divine guidance that I have asked and prayed for. Allow me to keep my ego out of the way. We'll talk about that here in a second. So your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefit and for those around me. So this is saying, listen to your instincts and allow yourself to open up and practice bringing some of that divine messaging through you. 
get your ego out of the way. I was sharing with someone, a client actually, uh, who I've read for numerous times, and I'm saying, you know, it's getting more and more difficult to read for people, and especially the live sessions. This was why I didn't start off for years and years and years doing live sessions. The ego interference. What does that look like? I'm not doing that. I'm not going to do that. That's not happening. No, no, no. I mean, there was this person who's exactly what you're describing, but I don't think it's them. <laughs> like, uh, and usually it's getting even more toxic now because during a reading, there's such an ego injury backlash that's going on during some of these uh, sessions that literally they know exactly what I'm talking about, but they're engaging in a power struggle. Okay. Or we see this in a lot of situations okay it's just that immediate nerd knee-jerk reaction again I just got over a migraine did I explain that to you I'm getting over a migraine so like my brain is like Ugh. hang with me as I go through this um you know trying to I remember back when I was scheduling events I'm literally in the middle of the event I'm actually the host I'm doing it and people are messaging me going well where's the link I can't find it in my email where's this where's I'm already in it. Okay. It's too late for you. <laughs> it's too late for you. You're in the sea of emails where the link was. I can't help you now. Okay. So, you know, just things like that. And watch for people who are especially talking over you. I don't know about y'all. I don't know if it's because I moved back to this small town and everyone is just like that. I can't get a sentence out without someone interrupting me, trying to change the subject, distracting. And it's usually so they can talk more about themselves or having less compassion. That's really what I'm talking about here. That compassion is starting to wind down in some situations and it's really bad. <laughs> okay. That is bad. So if you're starting to feel that or you're feeling like you're around people who are just inconsiderate, I mean, I can't tell you how many times, this is just a little example, but how many times I'm like walking with a heavy box and no one opens the door for me. Or I'm literally dropping things and no one comes and says, hey, can I help you out with that? It's weird. And by the way, oh, the karma, you're banking that. You're banking that. And they'll be the first ones that when they need help and no one shows up for them, they'll be, you know, crying foul and like, oh my gosh, I can't believe the world. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So <laughs> there's a reason why I'm telling you all of this, because first of all, I think it's important to put words to things that are happening so we don't just glaze over it and overlook it. And that's very triggering for people. They don't like that so much, but I think it's important. It's very important for us to realize what's really going on and pinpoint how we feel about that. What is our contribution to it? Like I said, I tend to be kind of a negative thinker sometimes when I'm got one thing after another that keeps falling apart. I'm like, oh, you know, I woke up this morning and there was someone because someone <laughs> didn't think through something. Um, it was just a minor thing, but I was it was like a, a work thing and someone didn't think through it. And I'm like, you know what? You could have just let me know about that and I would have fixed it. But now. Now we have to start all over. It's that kind of thing. Okay. So like, you know, a lot of annoyances and things, like I said, that can really just, I don't know, get you into it like a negative headspace where I started in this case, I started going down the path of why do people do what they do? Like, why aren't people stopping and thinking before they act? And that goes across the board for a lot of different situations, doesn't it? All right. So self-respect, dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see myself as you see me through the eyes of love. Thank you for honoring and respecting me. Please guide me to do the same for myself and grant me the courage to speak up on my own behalf. I ask for your protection in all of my relationships so that I am surrounded by loving and kind people. There's a big shift going on here. And the reason why I picked the Michael deck, we need that protection. You're seeing, I, I think all of this, all of this, you're waking up. Oh, there could be some final straw moments for people where it's like, I see you're not a good friend or I see you're not a good love partner or I see that the situation does not serve me. If something's more stressful than beneficial or you, it's not reciprocal, you're not getting anything out of it. You see what I'm saying? That's not like so you get greedy and selfish and all that. But like sometimes are you getting used? Are you getting used? So that's something that is coming up this week as well. Let's get another card from this one. Make a commitment. 
Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit myself, my life, and my wait, what? Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. The overall feeling here is you're turning around. Now, this is not going to, some of you who are watching this, you're the people who are going to fall down. Okay. You're the ones, <laughs> when you're in this type of profession, I've said it before and I'll say it again, doing readings for people, people never tire of hearing about themselves. So it can, at times, I'm going to grab this other deck here. It can draw in a certain type of person. And some of you are sitting there going, that's not me. I, I'm, I'm doing great. <laughs> You're about to find out. You're about to find out. But for the other people watching this, it's freedom. It's finally getting to call it quits on something that you've wanted to call quits on for a long time. And yes, they may try to come and fight you on that, especially if there's narcissistic injury involved. But you are protected. They will lose and everything that they try to do against you will come back to them times 10. Some of you get really annoyed by that. And you're like, that's a Christian thing. It's times three. Look, we all got our things. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. Just leave it. Surrender and release. Okay. What's the overall message here? We're fed up. We're tired. Now, some of you might, especially if you're in the U.S., you might be thinking in political terms. It's not political. It's not political at all. That is not what's going on here. No, it's not. Wake up. Okay. So surrender and release is saying, I'm going to make a commitment to myself and making room for myself by letting go of these people, places, things, <coughs> pardon me, situations, um, anything that has gotten under my skin, anything that just keeps taking and taking and taking from me. Now, some of you are going to come out of this and it's going to be beautiful. It's an absolute restart. It's getting a second chance at something. And yet for others of you, you're going to go down screaming and playing the victim. If you want to work with angels, lean in. Let's have a serious conversation. If you want to work with angels, your ego cannot be in the way. That does not mean that, especially if you're getting like an angel reading or something like that, that you have to take everything I say as the word, okay? No, but if you're being open and you're asking for guidance and that guidance starts to come through and you're pushing back, pushing back, pushing back, going, I don't know, I don't know. And especially at the end where they act like, well, I got nothing out of this reading. Number one, that's very disrespectful to me. And I am talking about personal readings that I do. That's very disrespectful to me and what I do here. Uh, it's not lost on me. Next time you come asking, I'm going to remember how you behaved and I'm not going to, I'm not going to read for you. You'll have to go to someone else, I guess. I don't want you to be their problem. Don't go being someone doing that to someone else, but try to learn and grow from that. But in general, if you're trying to get an angel message and you are just sitting there dismissing everything, again, negating it before you even let it sink in, you are not going to handle what's coming very well. It's kind of the final call. Michelle's giving warnings out here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not going to tiptoe around egos anymore. I'm done. I'm really, really done. And it's not, nothing even happened. If you're like, what the heck? Did you just have like, no. No. Matter of fact, I've had made the 1111 portal for me put a mirror up to me and said, look at all this stuff that you carry dragon behind you that you're hoarding emotionally <laughs> comment down below if you can relate um old situations that you're you're ready for the end of the story and yet the story ended a long time ago <laughs> like let it go let it go and stop trying and for me stop trying to um diminish myself so others especially others who have big egos who expect everyone to kind of fall in and do as they say um, so that they're not offended. Like I, we're not doing that anymore. We're not playing those games anymore. Now, if you are somebody who is codependent, if you are a people pleaser and the whole time you're sitting there going, <laughs> you know, she shouldn't be talking like that. First of all, send video if that's your face. Cause you got my face on video now. Like it's only fair that you give it back. Let me, let me see your weird face <laughs> doing that. Um, but 
you got to check yourself. Like if you seriously cannot get on board with someone who's standing up and saying no more, if you can't get behind somebody who's setting boundaries and you've got judgment around that, again, it's going to come back to you times 10. And then we're all going to be in a mess. You see what I'm getting at here? It's like this reciprocal energy that's like you fling it at somebody and they fling it back to you or they're setting a boundary and it comes crashing back to you. And then you lay on the ground going, oh my gosh, I can't see. I, I don't know about y'all, but that's the very kind of thing. Like you have to release any need to be people pleasing anymore. Release the need to fight dirty. That just came up for some of you. Don't be fighting dirty. You might, some of you might be releasing a job. You might be releasing a job. If it's the type of job that's just nothing but stress, it's not fulfilling. It's not even paying the bills. Like, what are you there for? You know, there's a lot of come to Jesus moments here. Okay. Where it's like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? It can also be a really enlightening time too, because if you have had something in your home or in your life or whatever that you just can't take care of, right? Let's say there's a corner of your home. Something's being represented there. It's just an example. Something's being represented there. Why can't I take that Christmas tree down? Now it's not about... Again, I'm just making up an example. Calm down. It's not Christmas. Don't leave those comments. I don't, I don't. Okay. Thank you. So <laughs> yeah, it's like that because I can't with, with the silliness anymore. I just can't. But let's say it's Christmas and you've left your tree up and you're like, I just can't bring myself to take that tree down. If you sit there and you ask yourself, what is it about it that I can't take down? Maybe you go, I'm exhausted. I'm so tired. Every, every time I turn around, there's something else I got to do. It could be that. Or it could be, you know, Christmas is a time where I actually feel joy. And I'm not ready to let go of the joy yet. I, I, I want to I wanna sit with this. You see what I'm saying? So it's like a moment. Something's triggering you in your environment. And yes, it could be a person. Okay. But I swear to you guys. There is such potential to be released from all of this now. And it might be saying bye to someone or many someones. And yes, there will be the threat of a smear campaign. They're going to run their mouths. They're going to do all these things. Put this out there. Archangel Michael of God's purest love and light. Protect me. Shield me. Let me be restored. And for anyone who speaks ill on my name. Let a mirror be put up to them and let them see themselves in all truth and clarity and let others see them as well and be protected. Amen. And so it is. Let that be your mantra. Okay. So leave in the comments down below, what kind of feeling are you, are, did you have like a big cracking open? Are you kind of in pieces right now uh, from the 1111 energy portal? Are you kind of feeling like I'm ready for a brand new start and not in this phony, like, I know my future is so bright and blah, blah, and trying to be self-righteous and put yourself above everybody else. We're not tolerating that anymore because you're putting a, ne a negative energy out there. We're just not doing it. We're not playing into delusions. And so stop tiptoeing around people. Now you got to be careful with this because there are dangerous people out there. Obviously be careful. But I'm just saying like your regular whatever, whatever, who just thinks that they're above everybody because they, th they see themselves as popular or they're more spiritual than anybody else. Like we're not playing those games anymore. Okay. And Michael is here to give you clarity. So again, leave your comments down below. Angelsouls444.com if you want a personal standard reading. Again, if you're overseas, we'll have to work that out. Australia, I think you're fine for readings. Uh, it's usually like the UK. Where else? I don't know. Canada, some portions of Canada, not all portions of Canada, but... Anyway, just let me know. We'll get it all worked out. I am sending you all so much love and take care.